Hi, my peepers. Welcome to Shaleen's Creativity Room. It is Wednesday, May 24th. What's going on today? And where have I been? Sleeping. Mondays are rough. And for some reason, yesterday was too. I went back to bed when I got home. So, yeah, that's why you did not see me for two days. I'm fine. I just... If I'm not on here, it's either because I was tired, went back to bed, or I'm sick, sometimes in a bad mood. There's no sense in making a video if you're crumpy because no one wants to hear it. Nope. Nope, people won't watch you if you're grumpy. You need a smile on your face, everybody. Okay, yesterday I finished... An arc that I got from an author. The author is on TikTok. She said she was looking for arcs. I asked for an arc. I started it um, Monday and I finished it yesterday. It was good. Four stars. It's called Star Crossed Letters by Sarah Diem. And it's this woman who she's living in her grandmother's house. It was her childhood home. Her grandmother had passed away, and she sold some of her grandmother's old typewriters. And so someone had bought, someone had seen a typewriter at like an antique store or something. It's an old one. It was called a Remington typewriter. And that person gave it to her brother. So the, the woman who had sold the typewriter the first place she left a note in the typewriter so the person that got the typewriter saw the note and decided to be her pen pal so they've been writing back and forth and then they decided they'll start texting so she gave him her cell phone number so they started texting back and forth and they really really like each other They've gotten to know each other through the texts, everything. But they don't know who each other is. They don't talk about their job. Um, they do know where each other lives because of um, the address for being pen pal. Her name is Typewriter Girl and his name is Remington. Well, come to find out, he is a celebrity he's an actor and she has a crush on him which no one knew and then come to find out her best friend the one that is the one that found the typewriter at the antique shop store and gave it to him yeah so he decides and she ended up Send in a picture of herself and her name because they agreed they would never cross that line. Well, she did. And then it got stuck in his head, so he decided he wanted to go meet her and he knew where she worked. So um, he shows up, and of course, he's the actor, and she's a flumbered guest, did you know? And it goes from there. Oh my God, it was so good. Four stars. Five star has to give me all the feels with the crying and the hate and the madness and the hat it has to have it all I didn't I didn't have all the feels but most of them so it gets a four star so I am so glad that I asked for the arc from that author I'm trying to get another arc from another author and then I started after I finished that iced out by Veronica Eden it is a hockey romance it is good so far I forgot how many how much I've gotten into it. I'm 22% in it. It's good. And um, it's set at a college. I, forget, I think it said Connecticut. I think in Connecticut. I think. Anyways, it's really good. So, yeah, I've, I have been reading. Um, last night I went for a car ride. It was a nice day. So I messaged Scott about 
three o'clock, I think it was. It's nice. It's going to be the nicest day yesterday. Can we go for a car ride? He said yes. And then so we headed towards Geneseo. He goes, we're having subs for dinner. We're going to get them at Aunt Cookie's, which is our favorite sub shop. And I'm like, okay, but I wanted a, a car ride, car ride. I didn't want to just go there and back home. So we drove around for a little bit and then came back through Geneseo to get our subs. So, yeah, that was nice. It was a perfect day yesterday. It was 78 and sunny. It, the humidity wasn't bad. I was I sat out on the porch reading most of the afternoon. I did not stitch it all yesterday because, you know what, we don't always have nice days. So I'm going to take advantage of the nice days. And if I don't get much stitching in, that's okay. Because I don't sit out there when it's raining. And I don't sit out there when it's hot and humid. And I don't sit out there when it's cold. So I'm going to take advantage of some of these nicer days and sit out there and read. So if I don't get a lot of stitching time in, I'm okay with that. Because I will make up for it on the other days. Okay, today, let's see, do we have birthdays? Do we have birthdays? I know, you guys are probably telling me, shut the hell up and get on with it. May 23rd is Teresa Couch. Or no, today's the 24th. Today's the 24th, there's no birthday. Yesterday was Teresa Couch. Okay. Today's the weather. The birds are out there singing. The sun is out. I think it's supposed to rain this afternoon. That might have changed because, you know, our weather changes a lot. Yeah, it shows it at about 1 o'clock it's going to start raining. So today is a high of 67 and a low of 37. Rain showers early becoming a steady light rain for the afternoon. Well, it's not raining right now. Morning high of 67 with temperatures falling to near 55. So the temperatures are going to fall. Winds north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chance of rain is 70%. Humidity 73%. Sunset is at 837 p.m. Okay, so rain showers. Let's see what radar shows. Because that said 1 o'clock. So let's see what it actually does. Yep, 1 o'clock till, till about 3. Okay. So I'm going to go with sunny and I'll put some rain too. The birds are out there singing away and the rain drops. So when it's raining, it's my Crafty Wednesday Zoom. So that's okay because I'm going to be in the house anyways. Do, do, let's do this color. But yeah, it's gorgeous out. I didn't need to wear a jacket this morning. It was like 58, 59 when I left the house this morning. So I didn't even have on a light jacket because I'm just going from my house to my car and from my car to Dylan's house. I'm not going to be outside long enough. So I didn't need a jacket this morning. It was so nice out. And it's so nice out now. It is, it is 67 and sunny. So, yeah, when I'm done here, I'm going to go read for a while because I'll be in anyways. Yep. 
I will be in anyways. So let's see. Today's National Day. Doo -doo -doo. Today's National Day. You've got mail. Today is Brother's Day. Brother's Day. <clears throat> it honors the brothers in our lives. Whether we have one or many, they hold a special place in our heart. I don't have a brother. I just have a sister that's five years younger than me. No brother. I always wanted a brother because then, you know, he can kind of keep out the, the bad guys from your life. And maybe he'd have some hot friends. You know, you never know. Craft. Crafty Wednesday Zoom. Okay, there's that, and the rest for today, so we have um, wisdom quote, the good life is not one immune to sadness, but one in which suffering contributes to our development by Elaine de Button, button. And the word of the day. Word, word, word of the day. Word, 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 word of the day. And today's word is swan song. Swan song is a noun. A farewell or final performance, appearance, or accomplishment. And the other word of the day. Now you know, I can never pronounce these, so... We have to go learn how to pronounce it. Zymergy. Zymergy. Z-Y-M-U-R-G-Y. Zymergy is a noun. The study or practice of fermentation in brewing, wine making, or distilling. I should know that word. Okay, and today's horoscope for Aries. The desire to meet with a romantic partner and look and feel your best could give rise to a lot of short journeys in your area. Perhaps you will want to work out, buy some new clothes, or get a haircut. This might be a good idea. Passions promise to run high today. Stimulating conversations could bring fascinating information to light. Okay. There's that. Then we have, um, I forgot, okay, 58. My crafty planner. I did not bring Fred and Albert in here to show you. I forgot. I did not stitch yesterday. Just Monday. So I don't have anything to show. I did go into the, um, what's it called? Smutty Babes. Smutty Babes group is in, it's on the Geneva app. It's like a Facebook messenger, and then you have all these different forums in that group to choose from what you want to chat about. So our book for this month to read was Crash and Burn by A.J. Nicole. I don't know if I heard of reading with Pugs. Jen, did you like this book? I can't remember if you said. Anyways, I did like the book. Um... I can't remember if I gave it three stars or four stars, but I did like the book. And anyways, so last night was our Zoom. 
There was 58 of us in the Zoom. You have two hosts and the author. And when you come in, you can't talk. You're on mute. You have to be muted. The only ones not muted are the two hosts and the, the author. You can chat all you want and type in on the chat and read all the chat and whatever. You can do that all you want. You just can't speak. This way, no one's over talking each other, and yeah, and especially when you have 58 people. And if you have a question for the author, then you type it in, and one of the hosts will read it. So that was an hour long. I did it last month, absolutely loved it. Did it again last night. Uh, yeah, like I said, there's 58 of us in there. She screenshotted all three screens because there was only like 25 in each each screen. It was good. You don't have to have your camera on if you don't want to. Uh, there's probably half of us that have our camera on, the other half don't. If Probably more than half don't have their camera on, and that's okay. But, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And next month, our book is Fourth Ring. Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros, and I've been hearing good things about this. This is about dragon riders, so it's a fantasy, but look at, look at the pages. Look at the dragons. you got black edges, and then the pretty gold. Isn't that beautiful cover? Yes, I love it. And you get a map of the world. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Now, the cover is black with gold on the side. I never take the dust jackets off when I'm reading. Some people do because they don't want to ruin them. I don't find I ruin them. But, yeah, and a lot of people are having troubles finding this because it's so popular right now. I got mine from Target. Not an issue. Got it from Target. So that's next month's read for the group. And when you're reading it, it has like chapters 1 through 5. You discuss chapters 1 through 5. You just type it all in. It's like it's like Facebook. It's similar. but And I have it on a tab on my, on my window. So it, I don't have it on my phone. So it doesn't have to be an app. But, yeah. And so the... Um, the one host, I follow her all the time on TikTok and on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel, Larry Reads. So, um, yeah, I've been following her, and that's how I found out about the group. So, yeah, been been reading, reading, and enjoying it. So, um I've read most of the books I wanted to for the month of May. So on that so that group you have one book for the whole month to read. Then there's a couple of Facebook groups I'm in. One's called Big Book Energy Hello. And they have four books for the month. You can read all four if you want, just one, it doesn't matter. I've read three, I'm on the fourth one now. And then I'm in another Facebook group called Smutty Babes. And their book of the month is Mason by Leela James. So when I'm done with Iced Out, I'm going to be reading Mason. Um, I pick four Nat Galley books that I have. Even if, I, even if I've got 12 for the month, I'm only going to read four because there's so many other books I want to read. Um, yeah, and so I always, try, I always read Kate Stewart and Katharina Mora during the readathon marathon weekends so like next month i have three for kate stewart because it's a series and i have one from katharina mora that is a standalone Nat galley i did pick six books i want to read we'll see if i get to them so yeah i'm enjoying my reading um, and the weather while I can. I'll probably, yeah, when I'm done here, I'm going to go read. I will read outside till about lunchtime. 
and then I'll come in and have lunch and my Zoom will be at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Any craft, doesn't matter what kind of craft it is. Even if you like to just decorate up planners or do bullet journaling, come in. We'll keep you company. So, yeah. <laughs> I need to go in because in, in, the, um, in the Zoom last night, everybody that was in there, their name got put in for a drawing. And the giveaway was a free month for... July's probably smut monthly subscription. So in the monthly subscription, you get the book of the month. I guess it's an exclusive cover with a um, assigned nameplate to put in it. You get some stickers and a couple other things for $25 a month. For the $45 a month, you get more included, including a t-shirt. So um, I'd like to do the $25 a month in a few months. Because then I would, I, you know, I would have gotten the exclusive cover for Fourth Wing. So I wouldn't have to worry about purchasing the book of the month. So they already, so yeah, everybody already has their book in there for June. So, yeah, and that's called Probably Smut, right? Yeah, Probably Smut. Um, you can go on their website and order stickers. You can order T-shirts. You can order anything from them. I want one. I want the new T-shirt that says, I look, be I look better bent over a book. <laughs> yes, I know. I told you it's smut, right? So... Yep, don't judge me, don't judge me. I can read what I want. I'm a grown-ass adult. So, um, yeah. I like other books, too. I read cozy mysteries and regular mysteries and murder mysteries and cute romances, paranormal romance. I read all that stuff. It's just sometimes the smut is nice. Oh, this is a short video. I, I covered everything, right? I just didn't show you my Fred and Albert from Monday's stitching. It's still in the other room. But, yeah. So, hopefully I'll see some of you in Zoom. And hopefully you will see me tomorrow morning. Friday, I don't babysit. So, there will definitely be a video on Friday. And I think Friday I'm going to probably read and stitch. And then Saturday's TV day all day. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, reading tomorrow, reading this morning. I'll catch up to my shows. I'm already caught up to my shows because now they're all on hiatus for the summer. It's just general hospital. So I can watch like Mondays and Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. I can watch Monday, Tuesday and today, tomorrow. And then read. So I might do that. Especially if it's raining. Is it supposed to rain tomorrow? Um, do, do, do. You've got mail. Nope. Tomorrow's sunny. In a high of 59. Friday, 67 and sunny. Saturday, 75 and sunny. 79 Sunday, partly cloudy. 82 on Monday and sunny. Monday is Memorial Day. I don't babysit. And Scott said he wants to go to my parents. I got to make sure my parents are home. I think we're taking cookout. I'll get the meat. My mom will probably make a salad. So I need to contact her. Yeah. The summertime begins. Once Memorial Day hits here, it's summertime. Okay, you guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye-bye.